Hello everybody and welcome. I am the beta plan and this is the darkest dungeon and then specifically our sun in shadow estate. We finished Blood Moon in another series so this time we're taking a little bit easy in radiant mode but it does allow me to show off you a few things trying to spread the knowledge because I do notice this to be I believe the number one question that I've noticed about darkest dungeon. So I'm going to show you well the answer to it, as well as answering another question that has been frequently posted on forums. As you may notice from uh, my estate here, it is growing well, but more importantly, I have 61 available people for the roster. Yes, I am playing with mods. This is not the only mod, actually. I also have four classes by Marvin, which I really want to... Uh, well, give a little a bit of extra attention to. They're well balanced, they're lovely. As far as I can tell right now, they're low levels. Uh, I haven't played with the Thrall though yet, but yeah, the Thrall, the Seraph, and I'm especially enjoying the Falconer where the bird really has an animation going around. Uh, and the Lamia, though, here I would think it should be a Medusa from Greek mythology, seeing the monster she transforms into. Because I've always thought that the Lamia was from Persian mythology and had more to do with have line, have women, but perhaps I am too much influenced by D&D. &D. That could very well be it. Let me know in the comments if that is indeed true that Alamia can be any type of female human-beast hybrid. Um, regardless, I have some mods installed, so we're going to show you that you actually can get achievements with these mods, as well as the most important thing, the, the first question that is asked, getting unique trinkets back. The Color of Madness DLC gave us quite a few additional trinkets that you can buy with crystals, and some of them are absolutely wonderful. I bought myself, I, I know this will be a little bit hard to see here because I have four additional ones due to these new classes, because yes, he has made even Crimson Core trinkets, Crystalline trinkets, everything. Uh, there's even a district for two of his classes, so yeah, I, I, I like this mod because of that especially. But uh, yeah, what I wanted to say is that... Um, there are two trinkets I bought. I have here the mirror shield, but you notice a great lack of another one, which you may have seen from a previous episode, which is the crystalline dirge, which I love for Jester. But I don't know what I did, I may have angered the gods of the darkest dungeon as I entered the endless mode for farmstead. Uh, let's just say I ran into, I believe, three, it might have been four swine skivers and that is just too much damage output for me to handle suddenly because I had a team that was very much focused on the front and skivers are very good I always want to call them skivers but that's beside the point these skivers again move around quite easily and also move to the back and I just couldn't get into them in time before they did so much damage that my jester and festal fell I fled because I thought and somebody else had told, told me you get those trinkets back because they're just fragmented for a while, it's a unique status that you now can get, and then these heroes come back. They don't die in endless mode, that's very important. And they did indeed come back, but they didn't come back with their trinkets, which I thought was also part of this new mechanic. So I lost them, and the, the worst thing in Darkest Dungeon almost, next to losing a person, is losing the unique trinkets. And the other thing that you also never want to do is send little lambs to the slaughter. Level zero. Level zero, level zero, level zero. I have a mod to inc increase my roster. I here have a mod that just adds plus 30. I kind of like the other ones better that gradually add a little bit extra, but then they add it up to 75, and then I'm like, eh, that's a little bit over over the top. And the other one that I can find be between this one and plus and going up to 75 is plus 4 people adding to 35, which is also like, no, I need more. Because, well, I have new classes and I want to try them out and have two of each and OCD stuff. So, first question. Darkest Dungeon, we're going to enter with level zeros. Can you get achievements with mods? Notice, by the way, that I've given her a trinket, him a trinket, him a trinket, and him a trinket. That means that I will lose another four additional trinkets, bringing it up to eight. And that is a very important thing to note. Eight trinkets to lose. Let's go. Provision. Yeah, still on bark. And uh, I'm just going to bring this along because they're not going to survive. Trust me. Once again, the stars are right. And the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols. And great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. 
far below, life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. And here you notice that in the right lower corner, like the little lambs, act little lambs to the slaughter, the achievement got activated. So, if you have mods, you can reach achievements. Let's get in and let's get these people killed. And let's uh, hear these people complain. I actually thought they would just simply die, but they haven't. I thought they would immediately get a heart attack. Ever downward along these titan spires. The creature battens itself on your failures. Well, it's gonna have another failure because I do need these guys to die. I do need them to die. You know what? Perhaps let's see here. You're early riser, that's not too bad. You're curious though, which is horrible. Um perhaps we can make it so that we only need to lose two people and then we'll retreat and see what happens then. Though I, I, I'm not sure if I, w I even am offered a chance. I should really learn how to do this properly. You are co tactician and you're curious as well. Misses a spot. Eh, yeah, but I really, really, really dislike occultists. But that's for another video. Um, yeah, you know what? If we can get the occultists to die together with the, mm, the hellion and these two survive, I'm a okay with it. We won't die here, though, because this is just... I could actually get them all the way down to stress relief very, very, very low. Though nowadays, it used to be so that two creatures you could... ...attack, like, indefinitely, uh, just... ...do whatever the hell you wanted, and it would be fine with the game. Besides, I actually just realized, yeah, we don't have his stress relief. But nowadays... If you don't kill two uh, um, creatures when they are there, the game will get a little annoyed with you. So, let's just quickly get this over with. You can't do anything. Y you Oh, you don't even have Holy Lance. I didn't look at these skills because, well, they were going to die anyways. Like little lambs, they would will uh, will and would die. Uh, yeah, you're, you know what? You're just gonna pass the turn. Just just get some incredible amount of stress. I don't give a hoot. <laughs> you made me do this, YouTube. You made me kill four innocent little level zero people in the darkest dungeon. I did not even have this achievement, as you noticed. And I've been playing this game for quite a while. You will find two additional series on the darkest dungeon here. When it first came out, and when when the Crimson Court came out. So if you want a more, uh, there we go. If you want a more true series, I say watch those. One of them was said is also on the toughest difficulty, so that is way more fun to watch if you're looking for uh, tips on strategy. This is just to show you. How level zeros die in the darkest dungeon, and how we are going to um, <laughs> see if we can manage to get the right people to die. Because currently it's the leopard that's dying. Uh, this is about to die. Death flash. Yeah, these are just the intro um, stuff. Oh well, you're about to get. Um, Yourself a resolve check. Cool. Pass. I think we're gonna give some trinkets to the leper. The leper is, is, is the first one to go down. I am positive of that. I'm actually surprised how many times we are hitting for level zeros in a epic difficulty dungeon. And how little you are critting, because they have up to the amount of crits that you can get. Oh, there you go, little land number one. You're a masochist. Okay. Those who covet injury. And little land number three. You're paranoid. That's fine. I don't... Oh, there's a crit.
A training you might be competent. Um, of course the game lets the one class survive that I really don't give a shit about. <laughs> Excuse the language, but I really couldn't care less for an occultist. By the way, if you're wondering why I gave, got that additional food when we entered the dungeon... Why the heck did I do that? He can't die. Uh, it's because I have some districts already. Flesh to flesh. Well, at least you're not guarding. Um. I assume at least here to have at least one character die. Let's let alone stand that these people are now giving each other a lot of abuse and and bad things, so that they're they're um, <laughs> that they will get so much stress that it will go wrong. All right, the signs warm. T -t fine, whatever you said. You're cool. Five damage. Wow. Yeah, this is the final fight. Here, all four of them will die. I'm going to try and take try and take one with me, but that's just going to be the fun of it. Oh, you're you're dead. Yep, you're dead. Thanks to the bleed. Yeah, you know what? We oh, one turn extra. No, <laughs> no turn extra because he gave him a bleed. <laughs> that's what I dislike about the cultist. The exact thing that happened just there. That is what I hate about the cultist. Uh, you're also about to die. Oh, he took one with us. Destroy them all. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. And you will get a heart attack. And <laughs> there is a selfish occultist. Alright. Getting off the half door, just getting right back into it because of what happens. And there it is! Heart attack! Bye bye! <laughs> oh, another heart attack! Now he is on death's door! <laughs> Goodbye! So, um. You still need to die, actually, little leper. You're wondering, mine commanded you to target him. Fine. Yep. Well, <laughs> good bio cultist. I thought I might get out with one, but no. It feels really weird to just know that your team is about to die and you don't give a hoot. Oh, are we going to take a second person with us? Just for the hell of it. No, no, because we're gonna cut credit and we're gonna bleed. There we go! Even more achievements popped! You cannot learn a thing you think you know. So with that, I supposedly have lost eight trinkets. With eight trinkets, the Shrieker event can take place. But, unfortunately, that is not what is gifted to us now. With eight trinkets, there is a chance for... Oh, no, there it is. Defeat the Shrieker to recover eight of your lost trinkets. Interesting enough that that happens even while there is another event taking place. Didn't even know that one. So, I'm going to come back in a moment. I'm going to make a team in order to beat the Shrieker. And uh, I even managed, unfortunately it was off camera, to... Both destroy the nest and the streaker with a certain team. And I need to see if I have still the right components for that. So, let me show you that within a flash of a moment. After all, you have the added benefit of a YouTube. Which means I can do some editing magic. And here is my team for the fighting the streaker. Now, something you have to note about the Shrieker is that it only lasts for four 
rounds. After which the Shrieker takes flight and... Well, if you have people still standing, you will have fulfilled the quest. Able to recover your trinkets. However, you will gain a ton of stress and you have no chance for these lovely quirks like... Colvitt's Grace. This amazing type of quirks. So, you would like to have them and therefore I do not bring a healer. No, I just bring damage. And accuracy versus marked and versus eldritch or beast because uh, the shrieker is both considered a beast as well as being eldritch so yeah it's all the eldritch all accuracy all damage that is what i want the shrieker can do bleed attacks so taking three bandages or so with you is fine this can help you with overcoming possible debuffs uh, because he has the possibility to give you a minus 15 accuracy debuff. You really don't want that. And um, so you also bring in a few herbs. I'm bringing in four. It's, it's a bit much. You don't expect him to get that many off. But you, know, you do want to try. And I'm taking a holy water already with me to prevent it. And I'm taking an Aegis should somebody get really, really, really low. And I'll be in danger of having someone die. Now that is of course Radiant Mode. So I'm going to try for you to... First kill a nest, then kill a shrieker. This is a little bit dangerous. What you really want is your musketeer to hit her ability. Because her marking, if the debuff lands, it is also a dodge debuff. And that is the big thing you want against this guy. Because, as you will notice, 63 dodge on him. First going to mark the nest and going to try and kill that within a, hopefully one and a half rounds. Forty-five damage. Did not use my holy waters. I'm an idiot. Sorry. There we go. Twenty-two damage. Uh, could be a little higher. Could be a little higher, folks. Exposed to a killing blow. That's unfortunate, but we're just going to have to live with it. Um, that's really low damage. Nice the dodge. Kill the nest. Alright. Another crit. But we are still in round two, so we're doing okay. Uh, it's too uh, low a chance that I will stun. That's unfortunate. Um, it doesn't have pr debuff protections. And we still have an accuracy bonus. We'll try it. Ah! That's, that's... We really need the Musketeer to now go and allow her debuff to hit. It's, uh, okay, we'll, we'll mark him now just for the damage of it. Because we... This is a marking party, so you need the mark to hit. Ow! That's really unfortunate due to the accuracy debuff. Less dodging. Nice death door achieved. Minus 15 accuracy, that's really bad. It's also really bad that she goes last. Yes, that's what I needed to see. Now I need some crits. I have to admit, I need some crits. It is possible, but this is going to be... One tough cookie, but there is 60 damage. Come on, Musketeer! 52! Now, don't go first. Oh, you bastard! He would have killed him if he didn't fly away first. There's very little I can do about that. These two didn't go fast enough in order to kill it. This is what you achieve from getting the nest. Now, to show you... He did fly away. So I'll, I'll probably keep this for, for the episode just to show you. And now you have all your trinkets back, including your unique trinkets. The dirge for the devoured. As well as other ones that I've lost. So yes, you can get the trinkets back. Now, having beaten this creature, we obtain Corvid Resilience. 
So even if he flies away, you have a chance for it. Um, Diurnal is not bad. Weapon Tinkerer, Clutch Hitter is better. Weapon Tinkerer is no longer needed on him. And this is fine. So, a bit unfortunate that he flew away. If, I, if one of these had gone, I would have killed both the Nest as well as the Shrieker. But I hope you are still fine with me showing you this. This was just a short little thing to show you that it's possible. Oh. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Now, before I end the episode, and having showed you both how to get your trinkets back, that mods work and you can still get achievements, um, how did I get so much money? I know that some people have money issues. Well, I rushed one building and one building in particular, and that is the bank. The bank is a big investment, and 5% per week doesn't seem like it. But with 5% per week, and I already have 600,000, I, I tend to get, a, try to get near 30,000, and then slowly try to be stingy, and then when you're 100,000, you start to really see the investment bank back of the bank. And then you can get really further, and also the cartographic scamp helps you with getting money. Um... A nice few amount of creatures along, as you can see, with some, some people of the new mods. But eh, there's nothing in particular I think I need. But that is for another time. I will probably have a next episode with either we'll trying the uh, endless mode again. Or perhaps showing off some of the creatures of the mods that I've installed. Some of these classes. And giving them some love. Um, I hope you found this episode informative i hope you can get your trinkets back and just to show you that i wasn't lying oh i shouldn't be looking here let me just unequip all trinkets and there they are the dirge for the devourment you four you've done us a service besides these gravestones look way cooler than the normal ones little lambs you are gone <laughs> just noticed that i actually made a mistake in how i named them oh well i say i thank you for watching and if you do indeed enjoy this, do leave a like, perhaps subscribe. And in that case, until next time. And remember, great peril yields great beauty. <laughs>